you know, sometimes you just see it a mile away and you just have a feeling that awesomeness is going to ensue. This is the Fantasy Sports Plus with another feature for you. And today I want to dig in on one of my preseason favorites, one of my major preseason favorites who I just drafted one of my two, um, I have two very big uh, leagues that, I'm, that I take part in. Uh, high stakes leagues with you know friends and, and co-workers and whatnot with money involved of course uh, and I just landed this guy who I'm about to talk about in the seventh round and I feel great about it and I expect nothing but profits numbers and hopefully a league winning championship who am I talking about? I'm talking about Miami Dolphins running back Chase Edmonds I admit Edmonds is an annual favorite of mine but this year, even more so. And I made it a point to get him on every one of my teams. And that was before the Dolphins cut uh, Sony Michelle, who was going to be the prospective goal line back. Thus, now even opening up touchdown opportunities for Edmonds, who's already one of the best receiving backs in the league. Now, for those who remember this guy, Matt Forte, that's who I've always compared Edmonds to. Just a, ter a terrific receiver. Good but not great speed. Um... Not going to hit a lot of home runs, and Forte wasn't a home run guy. He moved the chains, though, consistently. Had excellent hands out of backfield. And uh, the touchdown numbers were, were decent, but never otherworldly. For Edmonds, he's been stuck on the Arizona Cardinals um, the last couple of years. First had to deal with Kenyon Drake, and then, um, you know, last season had to have James Conner vulture almost all the touchdowns from in close. And that was very frustrating. But Edmonds also, in that time last two seasons caught 53 and 43 passes and he did miss five games last year with injury so 43 catches in 12 games which is tremendous and over the last three years how about these rushing averages 5.1 4.6 and 5.1 those are terrific so now we have a situation when we opened up the preseason we had a crowded Miami backfield they had signed Sony Michelle they had signed Chase Edmonds Edmonds got a two-year deal Michelle just won and Edmonds got $6 million guarantee. And he also signed Raheem Mostert, who's an explosive runner, much more explosive than, than Edmonds is, but can never stay healthy. And then they still had Miles Gaskin, another good receiving back, who kind of let down as a runner. And then Salvin Ahmed, who was a depth piece, but was used last year. Since that time, uh, Michelle's been cut. He's now with the Chargers, backing up uh, Austin Eckler. Ahmed is just... Just insurance. He's not going to play. Miles Gaskin, they've been trying to move away from, you know, the last couple of years because he just can't do it as a runner. He's, he's a good receiver, but that's going to be, that's Edmund's strength. So I don't expect hardly anything from Gaskin. So that leaves just two guys, the oft injured Mostert and the very exciting Edmonds. We all know the deal with Raheem Mostert. Tremendous runner. Doesn't, doesn't catch the ball very well or not used on, on that part of the attack very much. But he's an injury waiting to happen. Couldn't even get through the opener last season before he got hurt. I mean, it's, you know, you, you, listen, I'm not, I'm not making light of a guy's injury situation, but it's almost beyond comical how often this guy gets hurt. He can't last more than a couple of games without getting injured. And he gets injured seriously. All right, we all know about the playoff game, the, the, the beyond ridiculous playoff game he had a couple of years ago. But there's almost no way Mostert's going to make it through the first quarter of the season without getting hurt. So then who does that leave? Edmonds. Edmonds could be in a position to not only catch the 60 passes that almost look guaranteed, but he can now add six to eight rushing touchdowns and maybe a career high in rushing yards as well. For a guy who had just got this late date with the season ready to begin in the seventh round in a league where everybody knows what they're doing. Chase Edmonds, league winner, even if you have to use a sixth rounder, hell, maybe even a fifth. That might be stretching it, you think. Look at the upside. In PPR leagues, this guy is the real deal, and he's going to show it this season. All right? Trust me on this. All right. Hit that subscribe and notification button. All right? You, hopefully, you have done that by now. If not, make sure you do so. Lots of videos coming out. Instant analysis. Somebody was very nice to post that um, after I crossed the 100 subscriber barrier the other day that I was the fastest YouTube uh, uh, show i guess on fantasy when it comes to in, up instant updates on injuries and whatnot and just wait until sundays because when the injuries hit on sundays you'll have a video up by me in about one minute tops all right so make sure you subscribe all right we'll talk soon everybody take care